this software is used in ski re ski equipment renting shops where uh, they get flooded with customers during the peak season. So this uses an RFID system to simplify the process. So this is an RFID reader and these are RFID tags which represent the equipment. Instead of customers coming to the a counter and then entering all their uh, details such as name, email ID, contact number, etc. So they can do this using their mobile phones itself. So they can do it before entering the shop so that the shop does not get uh, crowded. So for example, the uh, user enters the details in, in his mobile phone in this web, web address. Um, I'm just typing my name. Contact number. Hotel name, hotel, my weight, my height, the age, and type of skiing or uh, expertise that I have. So the customer gets the ID, uh, for example, mine is one, and then he can give this at the counter, uh, and, and, and all these details will be displayed over there. So uh, this does not crowd the uh, place and, and uh, the process becomes much faster. So when the customer comes to the counter, uh, the person at the counter has the screen uh, in front of him and uh, the, per the, the uh, customer comes with, the, with, with all the skiing equipment. And for example, if the skiing equipment is, is represented by these RFID tags, uh, you get a, a smaller RFID tags which are in the form of stickers so that it, it can be stuck on the uh, on the equipment itself. So when the customer brings all the equipments, the person at uh, the counter will scan all the all the equipment like this. Once it is scanned, the uh, customer tells his name and uh, the operator will uh, check the corresponding ID from the name and then he will type it over here and press submit and all the details are entered over here or uh, whatever the customer had entered in the in the in that website will be shown over here so that the the person at the counter doesn't have to type all these again so then the uh, uh, the the person at the counter will uh, enter the ski sole length so for example, it is uh, 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 30, for example, it is 280 and uh, immediately when uh, he, when the person uh, clicks on the duration tab, the Z value uh, uh, is uh, appears over here so that it is, it is very fast or the person can also click on calculate and, and it uh, calculates the Z value. So uh, the the operator uh, enters the, um, the duration for, uh, for the renting uh, uh, for, for, the, for the rent. For example, it is two days. So the operator can also delete one of these equipment if, uh, if, if it is not required. So then the operator clicks on bill. And it is also possible to give any of these equipments uh, as complimentary. For example, if, uh, if there is some kind of discount or something, then, uh, then one of these equipments have to be given uh, as complimentary then the uh, operator can click on this. He can check whichever uh, equipment has to be given complimentary. So that equipment will not be billed. So then it is submitted. So all these details are shown over here. The username, the customer ID, the email address, phone, phone number, and the renting time counter number. There can be multiple counters where, uh, where this can uh, take place. The renter name, the DIN settings, the Z value, the height, weight, and age of the person, and uh, the net total. Here, this uh, was checked, and hence this is not being built. So it says on the house, and uh, it it also adds the service tax and gives the gross total. So the the person at the counter, the operator, prints this like this, and gives this to the customer. Uh, and the, the customer has to bring this back when he has to return the equipments. So uh, it, it will be printed and given it to the customer. For now, I am just cancelling it. And then he clicks on new customer. 
and then he gets a confirmation page whether to leave this page so he clicks on that and he is taken back into this or uh, the main page if the user has not registered prior to coming uh, to the shop the person at the counter the operator can enter the details himself for example and then follow the same procedure print this can be printed i'll just cancel it for now and then click on new customer now there are other features like you can uh, uh, the operator can see what all transactions has taken place today for example there is a bar at the bottom which has all these menus or uh, he can go to tra today's transactions and he can see what all has been uh, what all equipment has been rented today and what all equipments have to be returned today so these are the equipments that have to be returned and these are the equipments that are rented today then or uh, to return the equipment and then go to return equipment customer id which will be printed on the uh, on on the bill that will be given to the customer for example one these are the ones that have are, are to be returned if the uh if if the uh, due date has been passed then it, the it, this table shows that it is overdue yes it says yes for overdue and over, it also shows the overdue time how, how much it is overdue and also shows the overdue penalty and then price per day so this has to be collected by the operator and then once he uh, gets all the requ uh, 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 equipment back he can just click on return all returned all and it, and it shows these and uh, the operator can just print this and give uh, give this as the bill for returning the equipment if the customer does not remember his customer id then uh, he can give one of his equipment and the operator can just open this python script called return and he can just scan one of the equipment that the customer brings for example this he's Uh, directly taken to this page where uh, where the name and customer id phone number everything is shown and and then he can click on returned all or whichever uh, whichever items ha has been returned for example returned all will give this page so now uh, it shows that he has it has been returned and now this can also be printed this could be the final bill there are also other or uh, other features like exchange equipment for example if customer 2 has to change equipment the operator has to just close this python script open uh, open exchange if once this python script is selected whatever uh, uh, rfid card is scanned it just gets copied to the clipboard so for example so now i, I have scanned it and it has been copied into the clipboard so i can just select this press control v which will paste the are uh, the new rfid tag and then the operator has to just click on exchange and as you can see the size of this has changed <coughs> for this the equipment name has to be the same as the previous one 
you can also see the equipment list what all equipment are there in the inventory and you can click on any of these tag IDs to see who has rented it when. It is also possible to print this list. You can also see the equipments that are due. Uh, if, if the defaulters, for example, now that uh, although equipments are, has been returned, it doesn't show anything. But, uh, but if there are uh, some people who still have to return equipment after their due date, it will it will show up here over here. You can also see the employees. For example, uh, th these are the two operators who operate this system and you can see uh, when they have logged in and when they have logged out. You can see how much sales they have, uh, they have um, uh, completed or their attendance uh, by giving the from, uh, from date and to date. It is also possible to see the sales of the entire store from uh, by giving the from date and to date. For example, so these are the total sales. And you can you can also see the total sales. And over here you can also see the statistics. A number of times each equipment has been rented. You can see the stock in, in the inventory and how many times it has been rented till now. And by clicking on the equipment, you can also see who has rented it when. At the end of the day, after uh, all the transactions are complete and if uh, the operator has to log out, he has to uh, get back to register customer page, that is the main page, and he has to just scroll down over here and then click on log out. And then it goes to this page where it says please log in to continue and that's the end of it. So this system has been implemented in the Snow office in, in Austria and it is helping the company uh, process a lot of uh, a lot many customers at a very short time so uh, this will surely be helpful for every uh, uh, snow re uh, equipment renting places where the number of customers become very huge during peak time